Let's take a few moments tonight and talk a little bit about natural vitamin sources. Many of us have gotten accustomed to solving all of our problems with a pill. And we take vitamin supplements to compensate for our extremely poor diet choices. We're living on fast food and takeout food and prepared food and none of that is overly filled with nutrients that our body actually needs. So we do the next best thing and we go and we grab our vitamin pills and we suck them down thinking that's going to be a fix for our bad diet choices. So there are a lot of people who do not have enough natural vitamin sources in their diets and therefore suffer from deficiency in one or more vitamins. Obviously, it is possible to buy vitamin supplements to overcome any deficiencies, but for the majority of people, it really is possible to obtain the majority of your recommended daily allowance of vitamins from natural sources. The key to gaining the right amount of vitamins from natural vitamin sources is to eat a healthy and balanced diet. There are certain diets, such as vegetarian, that provide a limited number of natural vitamin supplements, and therefore supplementation may be necessary. Also, intake of these natural vitamin sources at certain periods may need to be increased and supplementation is the best option, for example, during pregnancy. It is important to be aware of each of the different types of vitamins and their best natural vitamin sources so that you can incorporate as many as possible in your regular diet. Water-soluble vitamins cannot be stored in the body and need to be replenished on a daily basis so that it's natural for vitamin sources of these vitamins to be most essential. These are the ones that you take your vitamins, you, next time you go to the bathroom, your urine is a completely different color than it normally is. That's because your vitamins are passing out of your body in the water that you've been drinking. We also take in fat-soluble vitamins, which means they are stored in our fat, and those are vitamins A, D, E, and K. Natural sources of vitamin A include beef liver, cod liver oil, sweet potatoes, carrots, black-eyed peas, spinach, broccoli, and sweet red pepper. Vitamin A, fat-soluble, so it will stick around a little bit longer. There is a whole series of B vitamins, and different foods provide those different B vitamins. Natural sources for vitamin B1 include brewer's yeast, whole grains, blackstrap molasses, brown rice, organ meats, and egg yolk. Vitamin B2, which is riboflavin, um, can also be found in brewer's yeast, whole grains, legumes, nuts, organ meats, and molasses. Vitamin B3 is found often in lean meats such as poultry and fish, brewer's yeast, peanuts, milk, rice bran, and potatoes. B4 um, can be found in egg yolks, organ meats, brewer's yeast, wheat germ, soybeans, fish, and legumes. B5 is found in organ meats, egg yolks, legumes, whole grains, wheat germ, salmon, and brewer's yeast. Anybody seeing brewer's yeast pop up an awful lot? It's very high in vitamins. Uh, for vitamin B6, you can find that in meats, whole grains, organ meats, brewer's yeast again, blackstrap molasses, and wheat germ. When you are considering um, your natural sources of vitamin B7, which is biotin, that would be egg yolks, liver, um, unpolished rice, so like a whole grain rice, brewer's yeast, sardines, legumes, and whole grains. Vitamin B9 is your folate. Those come from dark leafy greens, organ meats, root vegetables, oysters, salmon, and milk. Vitamin B12 can be found in organ meats, fish, pork, eggs, cheese, milk, lamb, bananas, kelp, and peanuts. Natural sources of vitamin B17, don't hear about that one too often, are found primarily in fruits. They're in the kernels of apricots, um, apples, cherries, peaches, and plums. Vitamin C is extremely essential in your body and it can be found in citrus, cabbage, or any of the cabbage family items, such as Brussels sprouts, a personal favorite of mine, 
It can be found in chili peppers, berries, melon, asparagus, and rose hips. Natural vitamin D sources include salmon, cod liver oil, sardines, herring, tuna, and egg yolks. This is one that is hard for vegetarians and vegans to get naturally. So it is something to be very careful about if you are a person who is choosing a vegetarian or vegan lifestyle. Natural vitamin E sources include wheat germ oil, safflower, sorry, sunflower, safflower, soybean oils, sunflower seeds, almonds, peanuts, peanut butter, beet greens, collard greens, and spinach. Natural sources of vitamin K go back to those green leafy vegetables as well, such as kale, spinach, turnip greens, collard, Swiss chard, mustard greens, parsley, romaine, and green leaf lettuce, as well as vegetables such as Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. Now, natural sources of vitamins are very good for your body. However, over farming has led to the depletion of nutrients in the soil so that many of the modern fruits and vegetables have less nutrients in them than 50 or 100 years ago. That means that your body may need supplementation from other sources because your foods are no longer as nutrient dense as they used to be. Choose wisely in your supplements. Not all are the same quality. Many contain binders, fillers, gluten, or other allergens. The supplement industry is not widely regulated. The FDA does not regulate supplements. So be careful and ma in making your choices and seek high quality products. If this has brought up any questions that you would like to ask me, I am happy to talk to you about natural sources of vitamins and how to choose supplements that will make a difference in your health without breaking your budget.